I'm Ian Bagg, and for the last 15 years, I've been a national touring comedian. I do well enough, but my in-laws don't think so. I don't think the comedian's a real job. He talks about his balls for two hours a day. You know, I worry about his career, how long it's gonna last, and how he's gonna take care of my child. And then there's my two brothers-in-law, Chris, who runs a clamming business. Yeah, I'd love to be a porn star. If I wasn't clamming, wouldn't you? And Daniel, who is a boat captain. The hardest part of knowing Ian is that he's Canadian, and you really can't trust Canadians. They've generously offered me a more secure path working in the family seafood business. It'll make my wife happy. It's a great job, and I get to spend time with my family. And give me some new material. And that's why I've decided to get a real job. Virginia Beach, home of the airport. <laughs> it's got the one runway up there. It just looks like you started a highway, and then you gave up. <laughs> I'm here for the summer, working for the family clamming business. That's right, my in-laws are now my employers. That sounds like a great idea. The family clam bake. An opportunity for my brother-in-laws to bust my balls. What are you doing? I'm a comedian. You know Kevin Costner? Why would I know Kevin Costner? What about Chris Rock? You know Chris Rock? I did a talk show for a while and Chris Rock was a guest once. Just once? So if we were to Google you, would anything come up? What? Do you have a pension? No, I don't have a pension. So you don't have any medical insurance or anything like that? Well, what happens if you get Bell's palsy? What if I get Bell's palsy? Yeah, you never know. Did you ever forget a punchline? Well, yeah. How are you going to get a punch anything? Line. Who's going to take care of my sister when you forget what to say on stage? The men in this family are tough, but nobody's tougher than my mother-in-law. My daughter introduced him to me as a successful comedian, which didn't impress me much. I'm always thinking about my daughter marrying somebody, you know, with a state or a federal job and a benefits packet. You're on the road all the time, and it's right. hard to make a baby. But I do come home, and it's not really that hard to make a baby. Right. But thanks for asking how to make a baby. Look, I'm serious about this. You're getting older. You're not going to be able to have a child. My parents had me when they were older. That's what I'm talking about. There's nothing wrong with my parents. No, I'm not talking about your parents. My child has to have children. Now, she can have them with you, or she can have them with somebody else. Well, that's fantastic. I love Ian. He is my favorite person on the whole planet, and I would do anything in the world for him, and that is why I support him. However, I would prefer that he has at least a plan B. Look at this. Found the bedroom, minus one part, the bed. We were replacing the mattresses. This is the last one. I just thought that since you guys will be living here, you'd want a new mattress. And there's a mattress store right down the street, so we thought we'd take you down there and let you pick your own out. It's such a personal thing, you know. Mattresses are a personal thing? They're personal, yeah. Because of what goes on there. Jesus, Mom. I think I'm, I may have just thrown up in my mouth a little bit. <laughs> Mom is bizarre, extremely bizarre. People always wonder if what she's saying actually is what she means, and absolutely right, that's exactly what she means. Look at the size of this couch. We don't need a mattress, we can sleep here. You need a new mattress so that you can, you want to christen it. Mom. What do you mean? You know what it means, Ian. No, I don't, explain to me. What goes on in a mattress? I don't know, you tell me. Okay, and you christen it. Mom. Right, does a priest come in? Look, go to Vance's, buy a mattress, put it on my tab. Thanks, Mike. If Lisa had to leave, we could christen things. Oh, man, isn't this nice? How y'all doing? Hey, Vance, how are you doing? Hi. Hi. You remember Carrie? Nice to see you again. Seen it's a while. Hey, Vance, I'm in. Yeah, yeah. So what you guys doing? We have to get a uh, mattress. All right, I got about 12 to pick from if you want to see them. So let's do it. <laughs> Come on, you guys. Oh, it's chilly back here. I got two sodas here and two sodas there, all U.S. made. Feel free to lay. This one's sold? That one's sold. Really? It's on layaway. Mm-hmm. It's on layaway? It's on layaway. I didn't know that still happened. We did. We're going to have a good time. <laughs> it's true. Which one's the most expensive? Because Mike Quezon's paying for this. Probably this one. Let's try that one out. Get on, baby. If you want to keep people apart, get a king size or a queen size mattress. But if you want to get them together, having sex, making babies, it needs to be full size. This has been tested out over several generations in my family. Do you know what he does for a living? He tells jokes. What's wrong with telling jokes? Carrie and you need to have your own children. I'm not requesting six, but you know, you, you need to have your family and, and you need to have your family now. Right, Lisa. Now, this is serious. Vance, if you could do it over again, would you have kids? Oh yeah. Exactly. See? What? We need to talk about it. But not with everyone here. No, we're not talking about with everyone here. We've got our good friend Vance here. He needs kids, new house, new career. Holy crap. I honestly have no idea why she was asking him about our personal life. I mean, Vance is a furniture salesman. 
I will be the one telling you what I'm gonna do. You're not gonna be the one that's telling me what I'm gonna do. What do you think, Van? Yeah, yeah, yeah. What do you think, Vance? Oh, no. I'll be in the car. We'll take the firm one. I don't know how you married him, Carrie. Yeah, I think that'll be a good idea, Ian, for you to come uh, play with us for a bit, see how you do. Can you even cast a fishing rod? I don't know if I can, but I'll try it. So we'll see you at Let's 5 o'clock. At what time? Yeah. 5 o'clock. Like 5 a.m. Ian's going to be spending a lot of time with my brothers and my dad, and they're not exactly warm and fuzzy. There's no fish that can fly into a boat and kill you, can they? I don't believe Ian's ever lifted anything heavier than a microphone. We're going to have a motor on this boat, right? We're not going to do sailing. That's for uh, pushers. Sailing. Eh. Be careful, your skirt might get caught in your fishing rod. The first time that I actually heard him was at one of his shows, sitting next to Carrie Ann, and he came out with his blowjob joke. What's your favorite part of a blowjob, sir? <laughs> and then he has the balls enough to ask me in an elevator if he can marry my daughter. Many a great creative mind has found inspiration on the open seas. Steinbeck, Kerouac. And now, bag. <laughs> Shit, it's a man against the ocean. The ocean against the man. Sometimes the ocean wins. He's been out here for 10 minutes. He's lost a fishing rod. What the fuck? It just slipped out of my hand. Lost a fish. He lost it. What did I do wrong? He got on the boat this morning and thrown up. <laughs> Some kind of a record. Uh. The yoga class he's doing, the spin class, I know that he's doing the hip hop abs. That stuff's not gonna work out here. I don't like this, I don't like this. I know at the comedy club he's eating a lot of chicken tenders and the loaded cheese fries. Uh, I know he's a big fan of bacon, so I know that's on there too. Are these getting heavier? There actually are uh, some hidden dangers out here in the water. Don't take big steps, you're just gonna slide your feet across the bottom. The main one that's uh, probably the scariest uh, is a stingray. Stingrays are capable of swinging a tail and, and sticking you with a barb, which once it's in, it doesn't come out. You have to have it surgically removed. I didn't want to tell them, but I got touched by a couple of fish out there and I was freaking out. Fucking get me the fuck out of here! They hurt him, I am going to hurt them. Stingray is killed Steve Irwin. Steve Irwin is the star of a TV show. I'm the star of a TV show. I'm sure they're aiming for all of us. Fuck you! Fuck you! Uh, fuck you, Armand! Coming up this season on Get a Real I'm Job. A Ooh. Ow. Get him some diapers and some band aids, maybe. I shot my finger off. You have to give him directions like a five-year-old. Can you not like poke into it? Do you have like bony fingers trying to hurt me? Yeah, I don't think I'm gonna introduce my sister to Daniel. <laughs> hey, Ian, I was thinking your yeah. uncle by marriage up in Richmond has a funeral home. Maybe you could go up and work with him a little bit. Do I have to touch the bodies? No, just make sure they don't move. Monahan's. You lost your grandma, huh? Hmm. Have you looked in the backyard? 